everybody improvisation that's a nasty topic isn't it well not really let's get a start on this and i want to give you probably the most useful scale in the world only the most useful scale in the world so just before i get into that please like and subscribe to the harmonica barge if you haven't already that helps me out a lot so i'm on a c harmonica my backing tracks in the key of c and i'm going for what we call first position playing the harmonica in the key of the music in the original key of the harmonica so if we find four hole blow so we've got a four blow four draw five blow jumping up to six blow six draw and top it off with a seven blow you may recognize this scale we've done this in second position and it gets used for bluegrass and country a lot but here it is in first position in the middle of the harmonica and this can get overlooked everyone goes to the major scale and of course the major scale the bedrock of western popular music but the pentatonic scale is kind of like someone took the major scale and went oh what are the tastiest notes out of that and here's a little riff Recognize the riff? It's that popular R&B song, My Girl. Bow, 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 That's a great way to remember this riff. So this scale and exercise features in my folk and blues harmonica course level two. So do check out the link if you're interested in that. So you've learned the scale. That might take an hour. It might take a week of just getting really familiar with it. Coming back down. You don't have to play that riff you can change up the rhythm you can change up the durations right away i'm going to just play that over a track and enjoy the sound of how that feels we're not worried about what the chords are and we're not going to get too analytical and theoretical about this we want to just play the scale and enjoy the harmony of how that sounds over the chord progression And I'm just going to start to get a bit more random with the lengths of notes that I play. Here we go. from home base, move up and come back. Home base is full blow. Just two notes. Just four and five blow. Let's go crazy and add a four draw. found a little riff. If you find a riff, repeat it a lot, a lot. That's nice. Don't have to start it on the beat, I can start it somewhere else. That's called d -d -d displacement. Here we go. and six blow. Oh, there's a riff. Nice. So 
So the aim there is to make up little riffs and play around the scale. The scale is like a blueprint, okay, of something to work with. It's just like saying we don't always have to stick to scales all the time and there's many, many scales. We can play different scales over different chords, but for this, if you're first starting out with improvisation over folky stuff, folky bluegrass stuff that's in major keys, the major pentatonic scale is really going to be your friend. So the takeaway from this is learn the scale thoroughly, practice it slowly and methodically at first to commit it to memory. So the slower the better, very boring exercise, just go through the scale. Do it every day if you can. You don't have to do it for ages, like one minute a day. It's fine, two minutes, great. Once you've committed it to memory, start to mess around with it. Start playing notes longer. Do it over music and experiment. Just enjoy the sound of it over the different chords. We don't have to worry about how that fits in theoretically. Then start to make little riffs, just taking the first two notes of the scale, the first three notes, the first four notes. Build them up, lots of repetition. When you find riffs you like, repeat them. Record them on your phone. Make a little uh, memoir of riffs that you can use again. That's going to be your vocabulary that you start going back to as you commit it to memory and all the brain neurons start firing and whatever they do. That's You're, you're going to be able to use it again. So for other players who've got that down, you might want to try that in the lower octave. <laughs> And you can work that out by ear, going from the middle octave and transferring it down. If you can, that's great. You can do this with licks as well, but it also works with scales, lower octave, and then the higher octave. So you've got three octaves there. Same thing with those lower octaves, higher octaves. Put it all together and you've got a nice palette to work with. So thanks everybody, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want more improv, of course, take a look at my brand new course, which is Folk and Blues Level 2. I hope you enjoy it. See you for another video very soon. Bye bye.